What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Drop-In Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your host, Rashid. Uh, I'm a professional driver. I've been doing it for 21 and a half years now. And on this channel, I teach people, uh, you know, defensive driving strategies. That's not normally taught in the driving schools. Uh, stuff that I learned over the course of my career that I actually save you time, money, personal injury, and most importantly, your life. All right. So today on this video, let's get right into it. Uh, drunk driving defendant, as you can see with the title on screen there. Uh, drunk driving defendant sentenced to 50 years for a crash that killed three people. Now, normally that's not the case. I mean, they look at this as a murder charge in a sense. No, not murder, but like, let's say manslaughter because it's not murder because it's you know, this person didn't actually go out with the intent to actually really go out there and truly kill someone but they were aiming for that so let's get into the video here and was 50 years justified for this over here uh you know let me know what you actually think in the comment section mark wanted life in prison the defense wanted 20 years so the judge picked a different number minutes before learning her sentence an emotional amber Pereira appeared to mouth something to herself over and over this is a very serious case as judge christopher savella took the bench a packed courtroom hung on his every word he reminded Pereira of a jailhouse comment she made about her life being ruined yes ma'am your life oh you can't say that man your life is ruined Oh, Lord. And then you got, you know, the tattoos. And I'm not being stereotypical here, but stereotypes actually exist for a reason in a sense. No, I'm not, I don't know if I'm being too harsh on that. If I am, I, I truly apologize for that. But you can't say your life is over. You're not even showing any kind of remorse for actually what happened. This happened in Tampa Bay, Florida. Um, I forgot to mention this. Uh, I believe it was, it was, uh, this happened in 2018. But... The, prose the, the prosecution was looking for 20 years and because of this woman's comments he gave her 50 years in prison uh you know is ruined but you also ruined a lot of lives and ended three lives it was two years ago amber Pereira was driving drunk on the selman expressway and slammed into the philippic family killing louise rita and their eight-year-old daughter georgia on Friday, Rita's father did not hold back his rage. You've taken everything from us. You can't get it back. And nor will you ever get it back. I can't forgive you. There is no forgiveness for this. All of it becoming too much for this heartbroken father. I can't do this anymore. I need to stand back to the back. Yeah, I can understand his anger and his rage. And uh, uh, an eight-year-old little girl, man, it's, it's, it's really, truly sad. And listen, if you go out there, you drink, man, just, you know, get a cab. Get You know, I hate Uber, but, you know, if you have to use those guys, you take an Uber, take a cab. It's not that hard to do. I mean, it's stupid over here to do this, man. You know the consequences for actually drinking and driving. You know, you know that you're not in a state to actually drive. So why do this? This doesn't make any freaking sense to me. Oh, man. Tracy Kelly was driving the third car involved in the deadly crash. She survived, but her life as she knew it is over. I wake up several times a night from pain, but also from nightmares. My nightmares include being left at the scene, abandoned at the scene, screaming for help when you weren't there. Prosecutors asked the judge to throw Ferrara in jail for life. The defense asked for 20 years. Judge Sabella slapped her with 50 years, which is pretty much a life sentence, the kind of closure Tracy Kelly was looking for. Knowing that she has now lost her life and that she will spend her days in pain just her not being happy every day brings joy to me now the judge yeah made it clear that Bird's actions after the crash shows that she only cared about protecting herself yeah man that weighs heavily on the judge man 50 years in prison i don't think they're going to be able to appeal that one 
you know, and you got to think about when you do stuff like this, man, an eight year old little girl was actually, uh, I mean, this is, it's really, truly sad. As you can see, that car caught on fire, man. And it's, I'm going to end this video right now. I can't even talk about this anymore. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you actually think in the comment section right there.